those vapes Keep your wicks wet And your coils tight If you're looking for new flavors And all about the clouds We're all filling up a clear road We're dripping on the sub On reviews for the juice While Trav and Josh host View it on YouTube And prepare for overdose Yo baby Yo baby <laughs> Yo, little babies. We here and we doing it. Little titty babies. Yeah. So uh, texture in your life. Hardware. Hardware review. So we actually filmed this before. Yeah. Um, and we fucked it all up. So we're gonna do it again. We fucked it all up, man. We sounded stupid. Yeah. In retrospect. Rarely do we refilm something uh, unless we make a horrible mistake that you guys would be like, these fucking lames. These idiots. So we're yeah. redoing it. So we are redoing it, and it, the review is uh, the Stellar V4, sent to us by our good friend Richard Prescott over at VapingCollection.com. Go what check a, out his site. Scholar and a gentleman. Total gentleman. Yep. Total scholar. Yeah. Real sweet. Uh, so the Stellar V4. Stellar Very V4. interesting uh, designed little atomizer. Yep. Little RDA. Yep. Uh, let's jump up close, check out the up close parts of it. Um, I'll take it apart for you guys, let you see all the little inner workings, the deck and all that shit. The ins and the outsies. Straight up. And then we'll get back and we'll talk about uh, our little thoughts. That sounds great, right? Perfect. Yep. So here it is. Here's the uh, Stellar V4 in its packaging. This is how you're going to receive it. If you order one, you go to a store and buy one, this is what you're going to get. Okay, it comes in one of these uh, cylindrical metal tubes with the little plastic tops, little top windows so you can see your device. So here it is all disassembled. We have the deck here. This is the, um, the housing, the um, main body of the device. This is the airflow control ring for the top airflow. This is the stock drip tip. It's the built-in drip tip there. Uh, wide style, uh, chuff style. And then we have here the 510 and assemble it for you. So, what am I going to do here first? Okay, so I'm going to slide the, the housing, the barrel over the um, deck section, line up the airflow. I'm going to take the airflow control ring for the top, line up the airflow there, choose my drip tip. I'm just going to use the stock drip tip for now. And you kind of hold down your top airflow, and then you uh, screw in the drip tip, and that's going to hold that top airflow in place as well. So, that really is as easy, you know, it's easy peasy to um, assemble so let me cut real quick and then I'll show you all the components up close and personal. Here's the deck you can see it got the fuse clapped on that side it has this velocity style deck um, there's a giant airflow hole there so you want to keep your wicks out of there because that's where your um, airflow is going to be coming up underneath your coils it does have a very generous and um, deep deck so no problem there I've had no problem with um, dripping really um, let me show you the other coil here. This is the fuse clapped in with um, fuse clapped in in parallel with 26 gauge comp wire. So this device really can handle any build. You know that velocity deck is amazing. So that's what it looks like when you got the top off there. This is what you're going to be working with as far as the deck is concerned. We'll go ahead and throw this back on, throw the top cap back on. And let you see that um, the airflow we were talking about. So this is the top airflow. This is the bottom airflow. They can both be turned off or or. Um, I'll leave you without a close shot. So here's one. Ooh, I like that. Got that asymmetric build in there. Got the fuse clapped in on one end. Got the parallel fuse clapped in on the other end. Um, they still light up pretty much. In we're here. back. You seen it? It's pretty, right? You got that top airflow, that bottom airflow. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, the, the, the real interesting thing about this atomizer, like Josh just said, is the airflow options. The airflow options on it are, are totally top notch. It's got uh, the, under the airflow, uh, under the coil airflow to give you those, that nice flavor. And it's got that top airflow to give you extra cloudage. Cloudage, um, baby. So, it's like kind of trying to hit both, both uh, markets the flavor, yeah. the flavor chasers and the cloud chasers. Trying to do it all. And the, the design is nice. It does that. It really does that. It has a really good flavor saturation. It does. And it chucks fucking clouds. So it does, yeah. What they're trying to do, they did. I mean, 100%. The design is 100% on. But, um... It comes with a metal top cap um, that gets warm quick. 
It does. Yes, there are some problems with this device. Yeah. Um, total, totally some some problems. There's no heat sinks or um, you know any grommets that kind of cut down on the on the heat. So yeah. I mean, it's just it gets real hot real quick if you're trying to chase a cloud. You're chasing them clouds. But it does come with a, uh, a motherfucking Whitword. A 510 adapter. There you go. So you can use your own. You can uh, use your own drip tip. And yes. you're going to want to do that. You're going to want to do that. And uh, yeah. There's some reasons why this gets so hot. Um, it's not made out of the thickest metal. It's a little tinny. It feels a little tinny. Yeah. Um, you know, if you've it's ever bought thin. like a clone RDA, the, the metals always are really thin. It's just not really well built. It's pretty thin. This one suffers from that. It, is. it really does. Yeah. And and then when it comes, this is what it comes stock with. I mean, mm -hmm. on is this built-in uh, metal uh, conductor? It's a conductor. It's a conductor. For heat. <laughs> and I mean, after three or four good pulls with yeah. some fused clappings in here, it's red hot. It's hot. It's fucking hot. It's too hot. It's too hot. So. And but uh, but with this 510 adapter, that solves some of the problems. The yeah. the device itself still does get really hot, right. and it does get your mod hot. Um, there's no spacing here. I mean, it's sitting right on your mod, and this metal gets hot to the touch after a few vapes. Right. Um, so that's one big problem, and that was the biggest problem that we had last time. Um, was that it was the heat issue? But after we figured out that it came with a 510 drift kit <laughs> adapter, uh, that that solved a lot of the problems. It did. Um, um, go ahead. It's still a problem though. Yeah. I mean, any of you that you know have kids or anything like I know your kids probably, but it, they could grab it and it could be too hot for them. Whatever you know. And just your mouth. You don't want to fucking burn your mouth. And if, if, you, if you're like me, you're sitting in your car. I don't have AC. It's hot as fuck. And it's only going to make it hotter. So I have an issue with that. I don't, I don't like heat on my lips when I'm vaping. I just I yeah. don't like it. No, I mean, it, it's, it just makes it so it's not, not fun to vape, honestly. I mean, yeah. it, it heats up. You can't, you can't do everything you'd want to do with this. Um, like we couldn't sit here and just review a bunch of juices with the stock drip tip no. or even with this uh, with the, the 510 adapter because it's going to get the mod too hot and, and right. I don't want to get like something like this that's a regulated device you get it too hot you're going to fry it you're going to fry it yeah um, and I honestly think that could happen with this this um, device it's not fun to take a vape and have to wait 45 no. seconds taking take another vape no. and you know you want to vape when you want to vape and fucking call it a day so and this was made by cartel mods um, they, they've made a lot of devices that have been great. Um, mm -hmm. The original Stellaire I loved. Right. I, I thought it was great. Um, this one's just not built out of the best materials. Uh, the second thing that's a huge, huge problem is that it's not compatible with most devices that we have put it on. Yeah, quite um, a few. I mean, I would say there's only a handful here that it actually works with. I have a ton of mods. Yeah. The only thing that I can get it to fire on consistently is my Tesla V2. And uh, all the Anakin stuff. The disruptor. The yeah. disruptor and this, uh, the cool the cool Fire 4. Those mm -hmm. fire pretty much everything. Yeah. And so that's what we have it on right now is Cool Fire 4. Um, and it does fire on that. But I would say 99% of my other devices, it does not fire on. That's a problem. It's a huge problem. Yeah. And the price. I mean, let's be real. For it to be a little thin, to get really hot, it's very high price. It's 60 ish dollars. Yeah. Um, That's high for a fucking mo or a, for an Addy yeah. for a dripper. It's it, now when you can get things that Gold are box. They're, they're so much cheaper, like the Mutilator, for instance, you can get for like six dollars. Yeah. Um, That's built out of really high, uh, thick metal. Never gets hot. Has never heat fins. Um, yeah. I mean, this has a really cool design, but if you can't use it on most of your devices and you can't uh, and you can't chain just vape puff, on you it, can't you just know, puff. That's if it has cool. all these limits, yeah. then it becomes not worth the price. Right. And uh, this isn't only us that have had the problems with the 510 adapter um, or with the uh, 510 pin. The 510 yeah. pin. Tons of people have rip trippers. I mean, for instance, I know everybody how everybody feels about him, but he had the same problems. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard that there are some people who don't have problems with it, but we have had tons of problems with it. And yeah. it, it doesn't stand proud, so I wouldn't want to use this on like a, uh, a hybrid mod. Yeah, danger. It's danger. Danger. And you can you can adjust it, but when you adjust it. It gets real loose. It gets so loose. It's flopping even... around in there, and then it really won't fire anything. Yeah. I'm Overall, I say skip it. I'm going to give it a two, because it does vape. It's, you get a good vape out of it. It's You just can't vape for a long period of time it's consecutively, and it, for the price, it's just not worth it. I say skip it. Skip it! As much as I want to give this a great score because of the design, mm -hmm. um, it takes more than design. Yeah. To make a good device, and I think that right. the materials that are made out of are are not as good as they could be, and I think that it's not compatible with most mods. Take that design, fix it up. Yeah, I mean, number five, yo. Fix that fucking five ten pin, and I yeah, would yeah. I would love it. 
and a heat problem, yeah. bruh. Thicken up the walls of this device, fix the 510 fan, and you're really going to have something special, I think. Yep. And the deck, I mean, we didn't really talk about the deck, but the deck is great. It's got yes. a really huge juice wells, yeah. and it directs the cotton in a way, and the coils are separated in such a way yeah. that you fucking, when you drip into it, it drips straight into the cotton. Into the middle, and then it, and then it yeah. As opposed to going straight onto the coils. Yep. Um, and a lot, sometimes, like, you'll steam out real hard when you're putting it right on the coils, and it gets gunked up. Yeah. This fixes a lot of that. I mean, the design of the deck is, is great. It is. It is. It's just unfortunate. Yep. Need thicker walls. Yeah. And a motherfucking 5 tenner. Yeah. Better 5 tenner. Yeah. Yep. Totally. Skip it. Skip it. Yep. Uh, I'm going to say 3. I think it's a really good design. I should probably give it a lower score, but I think it's a really cool design, and yeah. they deserve some points for that. I do like the device. I, I you know... We've both used it extensively. I like it, but I just, I find myself not using it because of the heat issues and the 510 issues. So. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. I thank you, Richard, for sending it out to us. Um, you know, you sent it out free of charge so that we could do this review. We appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Always. And, uh, keep your coils tight. Keep your wicks wet. Oh, what? I don't even know what that is, bro. Don't hold the front.